So as you can see from what I'm sure is the title, I'm going to try to give you 10 possibly very useful phrases to pick up before going to China. Alright, so the first one is, uh, you know, most people, most of you, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you probably know this one already, but as with the way things are, hello and hey, so wei, wei is hey, ni hao is hello, you, uh, you're good, it's like a, um, it's kind of like when we say how are you, but we don't really mean for you to tell us the whole story about how you are, we just expect you to say I'm okay. Um, and so you say ni hao, say you good, and then they, receive, they respond with a ni hao, you good. And so, or um, you know, as we put it back to ladies' terms in English would be, hi, hello. Wait, uh, and I oftentimes with me, I usually end up saying wei ni hao, um, just because that's just how I, that's just what I picked up while I was there. So, wei ni hao, wei ni hao. All right, two, how to, Give someone a salutation. So you have a bye bye, um, which sounds you know, sound just like English, but there are characters for it now. There's opinion for it now. Bye bye, um, and then there's Zai Jian, uh, Zai Jian, sorry, Zai Jian, um, which means uh, see you again, goodbye, see you later. Um, so bye bye, Zai Jian. Um, that's how I, I usually don't say bye bye. Um, I would say it sometimes, and then. That's kind of become what I say here <laughs> now that I'm back in the States. I say bye-bye um, more. I, mean, I didn't really say bye-bye before. I would say bye. <laughs> so, but I'm going to pick that up from you over there. And then when I say say chen, I usually automatically say a low at the end. It's, um, like I said, this is what I picked up because I was there. I did pick up different things and how to say things from being there. And so bye-bye. Say -bye. chen. Bye bye. Say Jen. Say Jen. All right. Now this one is to, you know, thank you. Uh, thanks. Um, Shishia. Shishia. And it's a if you know tones, it's drop drop. And um, so Shishia. Um, and then you have uh, to say um, don't thank me or you're welcome. Buyong Shia. Buyong Shia. Bu yong xie. Bu yong xie. Don't you think? So no, no, don't thank me. You're welcome. Um, xie xie. Bu yong xie. Xie xie. Bu yong xie. Um, a lot of times it comes out like xie xie. Xie xie. <laughs> xie xie. Xie xie. And so, um, it's kind of how it comes out of my mouth when I say it in real conversation. In real time. So, xie xie. Bu yong xie. Xie xie. Right. Um, one that will be really good for you to know because you can link in with other phrases would be yo, 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 or may yo, may yo. Um, how you say may isn't all that important because the phrase, um, when you say the two sounds together, people know what you're talking about. Uh, mayo, yo mayo, um, yo means have, mayo means don't have, and then you can ask someone, yo mayo, and so maybe you want to buy something, you can point and point at it and say, uh, yo mayo, like if you have a picture or something, yo mayo, yo mayo, they can tell you yo, yo, or mayo, mayo, um, that's not really weird for some reason, <laughs> anyways, yo, mayo, Alright, now to tell someone that you don't really, if you are if you are someone who don't, doesn't really know Chinese, um, maybe you're just picking it up and so your listening isn't as good or you can't read it so well, um, you have a couple of ways, a lot of ways to say this. Um, there are three basic ways. Um, one is, Ting bu dong. Ting bu dong. Ting bu dong, and ting means uh, here, so ting ting ting, <laughs> ting ting ting. Anyways, and then bu, uh, just like with bu yong xie, bu means no or don't. Um, so, and then dong means understand, and so ting bu dong means listen, don't understand. 
um, and that's how you would say that you can hear them, but you can't, you, you don't hear Chinese so well, you, 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 you don't understand Chinese so well. Um, and then there's also Kanbudong, Kanbudong, um, Kan, 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 Kan means to see, to look at. And then the same thing, Budong, you just don't understand. Um, so Kanbudong, Kanbudong. Um, and then there's Bu Hui Shuo, Bu Hui Shuo, uh, Bu Hui Shuo, Shuo, that's the most, with all, like, Chinese phrases where it's, um, one word, but there are a couple of different sounds to the one word or phrase, that final one is going to be the most important because that's what's going to let them know, even if you don't say the first two tones right, they're going to know what you mean by the last tone because they are Chinese. And that is their first language. So, kan bu dong, um, ting bu dong, bu hui shuo. So, ting bu dong, kan bu dong, uh, bu hui shuo. And then you have bu hui. Uh, hui is able to, shuo is speak. So, bu, not hui, able to, shuo, speak. Bu hui shuo. Um, and so they may ask you, uh, Hui Buhui Shuo Pu Zhong Hua. Uh, did I say that? Hui Buhui Shuo Pu Zhong Hua. Something like that. <laughs> I haven't used Chinese in a while, um, and so my tones may be a little bit off, but in general, you hopefully you get the idea. And like I said, when you're speaking to someone who's a native, native speaker, they're going to be able to explain those things to you. They're going to not explain those things. They're going to understand things a lot easier than you think because that just like when someone isn't a very good English speaker, they're not from an English speaking country and they're speaking to you, you're going to be able to pick up on a lot more than if you were not. So, ting bu dong, kan bu dong, bu hui shuo. All right, now when you are looking for something, um, there, if you're trying to find out where something is, Zainali, 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 Zainali is um where, so <laughs> where is it? Um, and then you also can ask how to get somewhere. So um, Zemachu, Zemachu, um, so Zema is. Like saying how to, so you can say zema shuo, uh, zema kan, zema chu, zema chu, um, and chu is to go. So zema chu, uh, zema chu, zema chu. Um, yeah. um, something that you're going to come that uh, find uh, very handy would be su suo, su suo, su suo. This is toilet. <laughs> This is toilet, um, and then the easier way would be to just say WC. Um, if you are in more of a city, even if it's a smaller city, they'll know what you mean by just saying WC, which is saying which is wash, wash closet comes from British English. Wash closet. Don't say wash closet. They're not that likely to. They're gonna look at you a little weird. But um, if you say WC, um, they'll know what you're saying. So 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 zainali. WC zainali. Or you can use the Beijing accent, Zainar. Si suo Zainar. Si suo. Si suo Zainar. Si suo Zainali. WC Zainali. And so, uh, 